You know, I've heard it's no fun getting old. As people age, they experience all kinds of problems, like the loss of abilities and strength, loneliness, uh, all types of ailments and other issues, and, and, and these vulnerabilities that, that you don't really know until you start aging. To add to these troubles, many, many are no longer valued, and, and their respect and their experience is just put on this proverbial shelf, and they're given this message that youthfulness is the thing to go after. It's everything, and there's no longer this use for them. In, in my 40s, I'm realizing the truth in these things, and, and I realize that aging wasn't fun for David either. But he did a couple of things to age gracefully that I, I want to share with you. One of the ways that David aged gracefully was by looking back. When troubles came and he experienced weakness and loss of strength, he looked back to see the goodness, the protection, the faithfulness of God over the span of his life. God had taught him how to wait and how to trust him. And this is one of the advantages of aging. The elderly who are believers in Jesus may have had a longer relational history with God. The older we get, the more experience with God we should have. This should encourage us when aging starts to slow us down. But not only did David look back to age gracefully, he also looked forward. That, that really helped him as well. He looked back from his youth until now and he saw God's wondrous deeds, God's mighty hand in his life. But because he was still alive, he realized there was still work that needed to be done, especially when it came to declaring God's power to the next generation. I once heard someone say, if you're not dead, you're not done. And, and I hope you believe that. If you're not dead, you're not done. If we look back and praise God for his wondrous deeds in our lives and, and we look ahead and commit our lives to serving this next generation, then we can do two things. We can age gracefully and have a blast while doing so.